Hello fellow YouTubers, in this video I'm going to be covering how to replace existing fans in Dell Alienware Aurora R10 simply with something quieter and a bit more efficient maybe and just make your life a bit easier with this desktop PC. There's going to be a separate video about thermals and uh, the actual changes um, in performance but about that later. So let's get started. Here's a quick overview of the case. Looks like so. You'll need to remove the three panels off it. Front is not necessary, but I'll show you how to do that as well. So first you need to remove the screw from the latch, which you can pull and release the side cover and take it off. This is probably one of the easiest to remove, followed by the top cover that you can have to pry open on the back and front to remove it. And the other side you start from the back and then the front comes off last. And that's your three panels. If you do want, you can also undo the front panel, which is three latches on the right side and similar on the left side. And then there's going to be a bunch of cables holding it all together. And that's basically it. That's all your panels removed. And now we can start accessing all the internal components. Quick note before you begin, be very careful with exposed radiator fins. They're very easily damaged and they're on top of the case. So first things first, you'll need to remove the power cables off the GPU. Then you can open the latch holding the power supply unit. Be very careful there. There's a lot of cables attached to it. Then you can release the GPU bracket, which opens up like so. And now we can access the motherboard release pin for the GPU and obviously unplug the GPU from its socket. Now you should be able to access CPU cooler along the, with the pump. So you remove this from the socket first in the crisscross pattern followed by the radiator that's mounted to the top of the case. Once again, be very careful because these fins are very easily damaged. Now, unfortunately, you still cannot remove the whole assembly just yet because of the VRM heat sinks that's gonna be in your way. There's two screws for each, so just undo it and remove it. Note the thermal compound or thermal strips might remain on the motherboard. That's fine because we're gonna be mounting it all back. And now we can remove the heatsink along with the pump and fan. Just be once again very careful not to damage anything on the motherboard. Take your time there. Once that's done, you can clear off the thermal paste of the CPU. You don't really need to remove it here. And once that's clean, leave it as it is. Front fan is quite easy to remove. As you see, there's a little clip there. You pull it out, unplug it from the motherboard, of course, and you're done. Front fan assembly is very easy. It's a 120 millimeter fan. It's about three centimeters thick. Once you remove the existing fan, get your replacement fan. In this case, it's Noctua. Make sure the air direction is right. Insert it and you're ready to mount it back. Heatsink fan assembly is a bit different. You'll need a special screwdriver. If you don't have one, what you can do is get a screwdriver bit, pliers, release it, and use a standard screwdriver to undo the screws. Just take your time and get your replacement fan, which is gonna be way thinner than the Dell included one. You'll only be able to mount two screws, and for this, you will need a special screwdriver like this one here. The other screws just simply don't fit, as you see here. Now once that's done, installation is pretty straightforward. Same way like you removed everything just in reverse. So insert everything back, reattach the heat sinks, reapply the thermal paste. I'm just messing about here with mine. Reattach the CPU pump. Do it in a crisscross pattern until fully secured. Take your time. Once that's done, reinsert your front case fan. Make sure you attach all the power connectors exactly the way they were and you're nearly ready to go. GPU can go back in. You can put in the power cables and all that and do some testing before putting in GPU bracket. Just make sure everything works. If you're happy with the results, you can reinstall all the panels like so. So start from the front, attach the back. Same with the top. Top is very awkward, so take your time. And the easiest is going to be obviously the left side, which just clicks in. And you'll just need to 
reinsert the screw, secure it and you're all done. And that's basically it guys. This is how you replace your fans in Dell Alienware Aurora R10 desktop PC. It's not the easiest job, but it's not the hardest one either. You just have to take your time, don't rush through it. Be careful with the radiator fins. Be careful with removing and reinstalling panels. Make sure they're aligned properly. Have the right screwdrivers, have the right tools, and you'll be grand. Um, in terms of whether I do recommend or do not recommend replacing them, it's another story. There's gonna be a separate video about that, about efficiency of the whole system and what do I think about it. And there's plenty of thoughts to share. Um, but that basically concludes this video. If you have any questions or comments about this particular installation, let me know in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.